kindly subscribe to our youtube channel see how to click on the subscribe button below and also click on the bell beside this this will notify you once we drop a new video thank you but it's a faithful family and we just want to speak and pray for them today and if you have experienced losses before you've lost someone close to you you know how that is painful so you know pastor time will be here right to come yes yes please join me sister john will the join join we just find a way if you can touch them you know when you come over here please Praise the Lord. Will you stretch forth your hands this way and let's pray for them, please? Will you please? Please, will you pray for mommy? Will you pray for mommy? Will you pray? Will you pray for my husband? Will you pray for Aurelia? Will you pray for Aurelia? Please pray.
So I will read from verse 17 and 18. It says, If Christ be not raised from the dead, our shoes. So we came and she just she didn't say too much. She smiled and we spoke from time to time. And she would come to church and call me and chat. Well, my fast forward, um, fast forward three, three or four weeks ago. Four weeks ago, after service, you know, I'm just outside um, the church and uh, people were saying, Henry, I'm just saying, like, oh, just I haven't seen in a long time. He said, oh, and we spoke, and she was like, you know, we need to talk, like, the Holy Spirit told me something that we need to talk. I said, fantastic, so, just say something, just say something, anyway. So I said, um, um, so call on the phone, let's have a chat. And, um, of course, most of them she would not call, but this time around, she kept calling, she traveled, kept calling. And eventually, uh, the, the way she was persistent with it, I was like, okay, it was a very busy week for me, but I said, just I can't talk to you this week, but let's talk on Saturday, which is difficult for me as a pastor, because Saturday is a very busy week. So we ended up talking for uh, maybe 90 minutes, or maybe two hours. I never really know the last conversation we'll have. And then we just, but we spoke about a lot of things. She told me things about her sister, about her mom, about her husband. You know, told me so many things. You know, looking back, it was as if she was just telling me, just in case when you, when daddy comes, know what to say. Because I'm telling you everything right now. She told me things. The conversation we had that Saturday before she passed on, because I think she passed on Monday, was just the longest we've ever had. And, um, you know, I, I said, are you okay? He said, look at my face, he said, I'm fine, this and this. And we just forgot a lot of things. And I was, and I said, so, so, for, you have to be in church tomorrow. So I'm going to be in church tomorrow. But Sunday, well, I don't know if she came to church because someone said she came to church. Someone said she came. It's, it could be a lot church. I didn't see her in church. I traveled Sunday night. I was out of the country. So Tuesday morning, where I was in Tahir, Nigeria, I was. I got a clip of the message in church. So I said to say, I want to tag you so that I can listen to this because it's what you missed in church. But I didn't know as, as a social media handle. So I said, okay, let me look for a social media handle. And then I saw past. I said, well, it's not possible. I said, this is not possible. I said, I didn't have no guest number. I said, who's well, very close to the world was I know? I said, let me call that to the pastor. That's said, no, that's not true. And confirm it. But all that come. The most difficult, one of the most difficult as a pastor is to do this. It's very difficult. This is, you cannot imagine how this hurts. If you saw me, I've been shaking all day. Not because, I, I mean, on the Sunday, I speak about five or six times in services, but this is just very difficult. It's difficult because, number one, you're dealing with the pain of the best that is gone. Number two, you are grieving among those that the person left behind. And number three, how do you really explain to people that God is so powerful and He couldn't stop us? Those are, those are the three things. So it's almost like I stand here and I'm going to defend someone that did not defend himself. Why? There could be a lot of ways to explain it. I've just come to leave everyone with hope tonight. That number one, death in Christ is never final. That's the first thing. That death in Christ is never final. The Bible says, out of all men, we have the most miserable if we don't believe in life after death. The second thing is this. If Tosi could literally see what is happening, what would you tell me? Would you tell him to lose your faith in God? Or should you tell him to be for eternity? If just imagine for a moment, you could just, we could just get like a video, we could just get like an Insta story, we could just get like something, and Tosi would be like, this is what I have to tell you for one minute. I'm sure what she will tell you is this. Prepare because I'm your future. And the third thing is this. When I struggle struggling, I say that how does a very powerful God bring so much pain? Well, there's a lot of things to explain about that because the pain of this world really might not be connected to who you think it is. But Job has an outstanding attitude towards painful times. And Job said this. He said, even though it's amazing, he says, even though I go through the toughest time, even though I go through excruciating pain, even though I have questions that no one can answer, even though I can't 
even answer. He said, one thing will I do, I'll keep trusting him. And listen, I don't know if you came with question answers tonight. Maybe the answer, the questions, maybe you came with questions this evening. Maybe the questions have been answered. Maybe they are still there. Just hold on and trust him. There's a, there's, a, there's a story, there's my last story. I was the, this in church, particular depression and societal to come out to work on it. And I always tell people this. I said, if for some reason you go hunting and you were given a gun, but you're not very good at it, and you saw a lion, and as you try to use the gun on the lion, the gun, the gun didn't work. I said, what will you do? Will you throw away the gun and start running? I said, you should run. Or you should hold on to your gun. You know why? Because the gun will just walk again. Is that not true? But the fact that it was the first time, you don't know why. If because something happens, you throw away your hope in God, you throw away your faith in God, you throw all that away, then you are worse than when you didn't have no hope. When that God will have no hope, what should you do? Take the God. I didn't say no God. Keep running. Keep running. So tonight, I want to encourage you. If you are far from God, what to say would really want to ask you where she is if you had a choice. Is that I'm not going from you, I'm going in your future. That's what death, that's what death does. Death puts people in our future. Because one day we all will go and meet them. There's no one that's going to die, but time will just differ. And as we deal with the bread and pain, the most comforting thing we can know is that if someone is the place of comfort, when it's my time to go, I will also end up in that place. And that's the message to say. I hope that our hands will be, whether it's pain, whether it's hurt, it will be so healed. And I pray that the loss, I, you know, that God will compensate it. But I pray for you especially that you will gradually begin to prepare for eternity. It's very good. Will you just take maybe half a minute and pray for yourself? And maybe for you, all your investments are into the public day that your life does not belong to you. You never even think about it. Maybe it's time you should reconsider. And maybe for you, you'll have questions and you're like, how can a good God and that's such a young Beautiful lady just passed on like that. And I'm saying to you that will you just trust even though you cannot see? In Jesus' name.